the toughest opponent I've ever faced when Cristiano Ronaldo's best friend Marcelo heaped praise on Lionel Messi. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya, hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Cristiano Ronaldo's good friend Marcelo once lavished praise on Barcelona legend Lionel Messi. It's pertinent to note that the former Real Madrid left-back came up against Messi many times during El Clasico, when he was at the Santiago Bernabeu between the 2006-7 and 2021-22 seasons. Marcelo often came up on the losing side in 31 meetings with Messi's Barca during this period, winning only 9 of 31 meetings and losing 15. Nevertheless, there's no respect lost for the Argentine, despite being El Clasico rivals for nearly two decades. The Brazilian told The Athletic, as per a goal article in September 2023, that Messi is incredible, elaborating. Marcelo and Madrid legend Ronaldo together faced Lionel Messi's Barca during the Portuguese's stint in the Spanish capital between 2009 and 2018. What did Marcelo say about Lionel Messi's arch-rival Cristiano Ronaldo? During the aforementioned interview, Marcelo also spoke about Ronaldo, with whom he enjoyed a lot of success, winning four UEFA Champions League and two La Liga titles, among others. It's pertinent to note that the Al Nasser striker, 39, is Los Blancos' all-time top scorer, with 450 goals in 438 games across competitions during a glorious near-decade-long stint at the Bernabeu. Cristiano Ronaldo is going great guns with Al Nasser, bagging 36 goals and 12 assists in 35 games across competitions this season. Lionel Messi, meanwhile, is off to five goals and two assists in five games across competitions for the season with Inter Miami, Al Nasser's Ronaldo pictured with Saudi tennis player Yara al Hogbeni al Hogbeni shared a post with the Portuguese player via her Instagram story. The picture appeared to have been taken at the club's training center. al Hogbeni also shared a story from the football field ahead of a game between Al Nasser and Abba on Tuesday. Born in 2004, Al Hubbeni is the first female tennis player to represent Saudi Arabia at the professional level. The kingdom has seen a rise in female participation in sports in recent years amid a wave of reforms that have lifted many restrictions for women. Ronaldo is among the first high-profile football players that joined the ranks of Saudi Arabian football clubs, opening the door for many other to follow suit. The moves have further shed global light on Saudi clubs and the Saudi Pro League amid Saudi Arabia's goal to elevate the sports scene in the kingdom in line with Vision 2030. Why USC fighters paint their toenails black like Cristiano Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo had his toenails painted black in a post on social media. Cristiano Ronaldo has his toenails painted in a social media post, and there's a very good reason behind it. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner shared a picture of himself in a sauna as he recovered from his excursions in Saudi Arabia. He showed off his remarkable physique, with people on social media noticing something unusual about the snap. They turned their attention to his toenails, which were painted black. Another added, All I know is athletes who do MMA usually add paint to get a protective layer or something. The protective layer is supposedly the reason behind the 39-year-old painting his toenails. According to a source via German outlet Bild, athletes paint their nails or cover it with a protective layer to prevent their nails from fungi and bacteria. They said, many top athletes do this to protect their nails from fungi and bacteria when they are stuck in sweaty shoes for hours. Even Mike Tyson. Ronaldo isn't the only top-level athlete who paints his toenails as former USC heavyweight champion Andrei Arlovsky would also do the same during competition. It's claimed it helps the fighters to prevent their toenails from cracking or splitting up. A layer of nail polish hardens the toenail, which minimizes the danger of the nail being damaged in a fight. 
Ronaldo is a consummate professional and goes above and beyond to maintain his impeccable health and physique. The painting of his toenails is just another sign of his elite mentality as he enjoys a prolific spell in Saudi Arabia. Earlier this week, the former Manchester United and Real Madrid forward scored two free kicks inside 10 minutes for Al Nasser in their Saudi Pro League clash against Ava. Ronaldo is currently the leading goalscorer in Saudi's top flight this season with 29 goals to his name. These players do what they want Cristiano Ronaldo didn't need to slam Eric Ten Hag, claims ex-Manchester United teammate Cristiano Ronaldo had etched his name in world football at Manchester United before leaving for Real Madrid in 2009. Twelve years later, Ronaldo came back to United, but this time it turned out to be a nightmare for him. In his first spell with the club, CR7 was a favorite among fans. But in his second tenure under Eric Ten Hag, he became a bench warmer. And that didn't please Cristiano Ronaldo, and just before the World Cup, he took a controversial step. In an interview with Piers Morgan, Ronaldo fired shots at Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag, which ended his homecoming stint as well. The wildfire that interview ignited settled down in time, but recently, an ex-teammate of Ronaldo shared his opinion criticizing his actions. This Piers Morgan uncensored interview turned him into a villain at Old Trafford and Manchester United, terminated his contract with immediate effect. Ronaldo's interview with Morgan also divided the United fans, as some sided with Cristiano Ronaldo while others backed the manager. Not only fans, but Ronaldo's former teammates and club legends have also shared their opinions most recently, Wes Brown, who played with CR7 from 2003 to 9, claims Cristiano Ronaldo shouldn't have done that interview with Piers Morgan. Ronnie Cristiano Ronaldo, alongside Messi, these sort of players can pretty much do what they want, in that sense. It's a sad ending because everyone is glad to see him back, Brown further added. What did Cristiano Ronaldo say about Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United in Piers Morgan Uncensored? Ronaldo addressed the ex-Red Madrid star claimed Ten Hag didn't respect him, and that's why he doesn't have any respect for the manager. Cristiano Ronaldo further insisted that he was betrayed by the club. He revealed that some of Manchester United's senior executives didn't want him at the club. Ever since this interview came out, Ronaldo never looked back, he took his ticket to Saudi Arabia and is now enjoying life again at Al Nasser. He is currently the top goalscorer in the Saudi Pro League. Unbelievable player when Phil Foden snubbed Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, while naming the best player he had seen. Manchester City midfielder Phil Foden once snubbed Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi as he named his best player. Ronaldo and Messi are widely regarded as two of the best players to have graced the beautiful game. Despite being on the wrong side of 30, they are still going strong, having scored over 800 goals for club and country. Having played for some of the best clubs in the sport and won individual and team accolades galore, both superstars are now out of Europe. While Ronaldo is at Saudi Pro League side Al Nasser, Messi plies his trade for Inter Miami in the MLS. Foden, though, ignored both legends as he named his club teammate Kevin De Bruyne the best he has ever seen. The TCL ambassador said in a September 2022 interview, as per 442, 